Day two, you know what that tent means? It's raining. Good morning, everybody. It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today, we are in Randolph, New Jersey. We're gonna be doing something that we do quite a bit of, and that is a waterfall renovation on an existing pond. Let me take you in the backyard, give you the rundown of what we have going on here. Okay, we gotta get these rocks into the backyard, and it's tight access. Again, we've got no machine abilities back here, so it's all gonna be by hand. We have to get through all these patios carefully so we don't do any damage. And you can see, here's where the pond is. They've had this pond for probably about 10 years. Right now, what's happening is there's a waterfall and stream that's coming from that side. So over there is his office. He used to have it so that he could hear and see it from his office. Well, things have become very overgrown and it's not really the way they want to set up anymore. So what we're going to do is take and move the waterfall over to here, which is going to do two things. First of all, it's going to make it more visible for the viewing area. And then we're going to get good cross flow over to where the skimmer is. Because right now what's happening is the water comes in, goes here, and this is a big dead spot. Also, what we're gonna do is take apart this whole top ledge, give it some character, because right now it's very flat with all these flat stones. We're gonna give it some shape, some areas for some bog plantings behind, put some boulders in there so it gives it some different elevations, because right now, it's, as you can see, it's just totally flat across here and a little bit boring. All of ours working on right now is digging up this existing small stack slate urn. We're gonna take that, move it over to this area here, because that new waterfall is gonna take up that space where Steve is taking some shrubs out of the way. So we're gonna set a 2500 series biofalls right over in here. That's gonna start our waterfall. It'll stream down and re-enter the pond. We do a lot of these waterfall renovations onto existing ponds because the pond's in pretty decent shape. Just needs a little facelift. And then the waterfall is seen better days. So what we're gonna do is move it over so they can actually enjoy it more from their seating areas from inside the house. It's gonna give it a better overall cohesive look. We're gonna get started with taking this whole thing apart and then shaping where the waterfall's gonna go. So let's get going. We are getting messy. Taking apart an old pond is always mucky and dirty, but we're just doing some fix up in the bottom, kind of touching things up so it looks a little bit better. We're taking the whole top shelf apart, redoing the rock work up there so it's a nicer finished edge because that's really the edge that you see is the stuff that's above water. And now Bolivar over here has got the biofalls installed. They placed the biofalls, so that's what's gonna start the waterfall. The plumbing's gonna go into the back and he's digging the trench for the plumbing right now. It's gonna go all the way back to the skimmer. Here in the Northeast, we get freezing weather. We want to make sure that there's no water trapped in the line so it'll all gravity drain back to the skimmer. We're going to make sure we pitch that properly. From there, we're going to start shaping out our stream and waterfall. There'll be a pooling area coming out of the biofalls and another one down here. So we'll probably get three drops before it hits the, the uh, pond itself. And then we can do some rock work in the backside to create the berm and make the whole thing disappear. Inside the pond, we're pulling the edge in to give it some shape because before it just ran straight along the edge. So we want to bump this in. We'll create a planting pocket behind it. And then when the pond is done, you'll see like a nice looking curved edge going around the pond. We'll bump this side in as well. Moving this waterfall over to this side of the pond is going to give us a lot more visibility from pergola area as well as the windows in the house. So it's really going to be a benefit having this in this new spot. And then we can really do something cool with it. I mentioned it before, but they, they really like waterfalls because they have one on their pool. It's pretty cool. So speaking of waterfalls, we're about to start building our waterfall. Bolivar has this pretty well shaped out right now. He's putting in our waterfall liner. Here's a pro tip. The pond liner comes up out of the pond about like five or six inches above pond water level. Then the overlap from the waterfall liner goes in all the way down to the first shelf where he's working. So we get a nice overlap so there's no chance of the water bleeding back out and then leaking. Tucking in that waterfall liner, He's gonna be setting a weir stone right there. That's gonna create this cascade coming into the pond and it'll be framed on either side with some rock work. Then we're gonna work our way up. We've got a stream section here, which is more of a pooling area. 
There'll be another waterfall right here but goes, that goes around a nice big flat rock. And then there'll be another pooling section right before the biofalls filter. What'll happen is we'll get this part built, backfilled, and then we'll do our mechanical connection for the biofalls, which is gonna involve our face plate and our screws that hold the actual liner to the biofalls unit. Well, as per usual here in Ireland, I mean New Jersey, the rain is moving in again. Uh, so we're gonna start packing it up here, but we're in pretty good shape. The waterfall is really coming underway now. Steve's fishing some lights in for the pond. We're adding a bunch of lighting in there, and then we're gonna add some lighting in the waterfall and stream as well. You can see Rich has got the urn uh, leveled up. We're gonna be doing some plumbing with that and getting that tied into the pond, and we can finish our rock work around the top edge. A little bit of stuff left to do in the pond, not much, but we're gonna come back tomorrow, depending on what the weather gives us, and uh, see if we can't polish this thing off. See you then. Day two, you know what that tent means? It's raining. It rained all last night. We got like a steady drizzle right now, but it's on and off with heavier stuff. It's all right, we're powering through this. The urn is gonna be ready for our seam, which we're gonna do right here. And then we can rock this in. We got a light that's in the top. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Boulevard's moving on this waterfall. You can see there's a pooling area here. There's one there. Dropping out of the biofalls, boom, into the pond. That's looking nice. Steve's got to take some of this rock work apart to fish all our conduit in for our lighting. That's a difficult job there. And it's just general touch up here around the top edge of the pond. This is going to be a huge improvement when we're done. So let's get going, finish this thing up and show you what we got. Well, that's the last of it. We have finally finished this thing and it came out amazing. Love the way the new waterfall looks, especially the way it's facing the house now instead of tucked back in the bushes where you couldn't see it. We moved the urn over and we did some improvements to the top of the pond. Let me show you what we came up with. What a difference. So we actually changed the shape of the pond. If you remember before it was straight edge here, straight edge over there. We bumped this side in, bumped that side into match, created some planting areas behind it and now it just gives the pond so much more character. We've got some boulders in there instead of all those flat stones around the top, giving a more natural looking edge. This urn has been moved over to this side. It was over there when we started. Now it's over here. That's all been taken care of. It's got a small little waterfall feeding back into the pond. Just a little trickle and there's the new waterfall. What an improvement. There's no landscaping done here and there's that biofalls filter completely hidden. When the, the landscapers come in, and they do some plants around this. It's gonna completely disappear. Look like it's just coming out of the rock work. Really what we're after when we do something like that. As you can see, they really love water. They've got a waterfall going into the pool. Of course, now we've got the new waterfall for the pond and the urn, and they've got these cool seating areas to spend lots of time outdoors with the pergola. They got an upper raised patio area there where they spend a lot of time with dinner. Windows are right there for the whole back of the house. Really couldn't be, be a better spot in this backyard for this pond and brand new waterfall. Guys, I hope you like what we're doing over here. Of course, we're gonna show you more beautiful shots of this completed waterfall renovation. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell too, get the notification, got new videos every week, all these cool builds going on. If you like water features, this is where you wanna be. Like, comment, drop me a comment in the box there. I'd love to hear what you think about this waterfall, this renovation here. Guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you on the next one.